Hey guys, today I have another sampler I made. This one for March. I did one for February, but I haven't reviewed any cigars yet because I'm letting them, uh, you know, season properly and get assimilated with the humidity in my humidor. But uh, I got these for March. I got another six cigars. So probably by the time I put these in, uh, the, the ones from February should be ready to review. I got some really nice stuff in this one. Some stuff that's here from my hometown, Miami. That's made here. A lot of brands are, are either based here or made here. Oh, I got some good cigars here. I haven't had any of these either. Okay, so first up is this um, brand that I haven't heard of or, or had. It's called El Galan. I got two. I got one in Robusto size. I guess this is their normal because it just says El Calan. And it's got like a little farm there. Green band. Back is black. It says Echo Amano, handmade. And the bottom it says Semilla Cubana, Cuban seed. It's got a nice color to it. It was, uh, it's a natural. Galan Robusto Natural. 535 Good price. Hopefully it's good. If it is, then it's uh, very well priced. And I got the uh, Maduro version. In uh, Toro size. And it's the same thing, but the band is all black. Has an, and has a double band that says Maduro on it. Real nice bands. This one was five eighty five, so good price. And then I got one of these. That was like hidden in one of the shelves. This one is A2 Rent. Triple play. It's got a really cool band, and I know that Torrent is really big. So I had to pick it up. And I had never heard of it. Uh, it says Honduras on the back, so I guess it's Honduran. Uh, Puro Maduro. It's pretty catchy, so I guess it's uh, all Honduran. Because they're calling it a Puro. And it's Maduro. It's got a really cool band. And Bossed as well. I really like nice bands. So this is an a Turin triple play. In total size. That's probably my favorite size. It's not as short as a Robusto, but it's not as long as a Churchill. It's like a perfect size. And... Here I got another Don Pepin, one that I haven't had. This is Don Pepin Garcia Series JJ. It's got a nice band. Don Pepin always has nice bands. Got the double band there. It says uh, Series JJ. And it's called, on the back it says Sublimes. I guess that's the size. So like most Don Pepins, a little bit more expensive. This one's uh, 8 bucks. Costs more than all of these. Except for these. These are the expensive ones. These are the ones that I said are made in Miami. Um, these are Casa Fernandez. I got two. Nice, thick, meaty cigars. Not sure what size they are because they don't come in. They don't come in cellophane. But I'm guessing this is like a an extra thick total. And this one too, but this one's got a box, a slight box press on it. Real nice shape. So this is the first one. Casa Fernandez, Reserva, it says Miami on it, real nice double band, really nice, so these are made in, Mi they're rolled here in Miami, is what um, my cigar uh, shop owner told me, so it's got real nice, it says Miami there, Reserva, this one was probably like, I think, nine fifty. so they're a bit pricey, but you, see, you can see it's got a really thick ring gauge, it's probably a 60, yeah, real nice and thick, it smells very nice and then I got this one I got Norsa Leaf Maduro and it has their their logo on it the CF this is Miami there on the bottom real nice bands and this one got a slight box press but when I review it I'll give more information on them but I really like box press cigars it just got like a rectangle shape really nice dark chocolate color real smooth a little bit oily also has a really nice smell to it. Very nice smell. Especially the foot. Alright guys, so here I got six cigars. Show them to you one more time. Right here, six cigars. If there's anything you like, you want me to review ahead of time, let me know. And uh, I'll put it on my list. Right now I have in my queue uh, 
uh, what's it called? Excalibur, uh, the Cameroon, in Lancelot size that I got a request, and Ashton H. De Maduro. My store carries the Ashtons, so I'll be getting, I'll probably review that one first, even though it was requested later because my store doesn't carry Oil de Monterrey anymore. So I'm gonna have to, uh, I don't know, go to a Neptune or order it online because my, my, my shop doesn't carry uh, Oil de Monterrey, unfortunately. After the blend changed, and like the I think the ownership changed, and the blend changed, uh, he didn't like them anymore, so he stopped he stopped ordering them. But um, alright, guys. So next time, so that's what I have lined up: six cigars. Any requests? Let me know. And if there's one you want me to to push in front of the other ones to review, let me know. Alright, guys. Till next time.